The Caroline One study is named after Caroline Hickey Dwyer, a young lady who very tragically uh, died of breast cancer and whose family, inspired by their loss, decided to try and do something about the breast cancer problem and they set up a foundation in her name which sponsors uh, research activities here in DCU. Research which was conducted here in the National Institute of Cellular Biotechnology at DCU by our lab team has identified a very positive, powerful interaction between neratinib and other widely used anti-HER2 drugs. And in the lab systems, we would predict that there's a high chance that we will get a better anti-cancer effect by adding the new drug neratinib in with the older drugs. We've had to design a rather novel clinical trial for this. One of the problems is if you give old-fashioned cytotoxic chemotherapy together with the anti-HER2 drugs, you do get a better result in terms of cell code. But of course, as everybody knows, chemotherapy can cause toxicity. So what we're doing with this trial is taking patients who are getting the standard of care chemotherapy together with two other targeted drugs, trastuzumab and pertuzumab. After a while, the chemotherapy is stopped and patients just continue on the two antibodies. At that stage, we're adding in the neratinib to see if we can actually increase the percentage of patients who have durable remissions and to give them longer remissions.